Bill Howell sees a crisis in mental health that is growing among Canadians. According to him, one in five Canadians suffers from mental health and this number is expected to grow to one in four in approximately 10 years. I would say information overload, stress to do more, pressure, time, challenges, financial stress, employment stress, uncertainty, economic pressures. So we make about 50,000 decisions every, every day. Eileen Dooley leads a national charity that works with 16 national charities and was attending the conference. This is what she had to say. So I think many employers are struggling with just the enormity of things that he talked about, productivity, presenteeism, absenteeism, how their employees are doing, and it's pretty overwhelming. The link between chronic disease and mental health is also very strong. Hydration, nutrition, and sleep. And we know that small steps can actually make a big difference. Bill Howell points out that for men who have mental health issues, getting help still takes way too long. Think about this. The average male takes eight years of struggling with a mental health issue before they'll ask for help. According to Howell, however, it is still the small steps that make a big difference. Meditation is a good thing for some people to take space and get away from the world quiet. Exercise is a great thing too for burning off things. And so the conversation on mental health and the workplace continues with small steps being the first step to well-being. David Matta in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.